we're now going to give some definitions related to symmetry. And the idea of symmetry is that one half of an image matches the other half. So we could take whatever it is that we're looking at, the graph, a picture, whatever it is, and if we can fold it in half and we get the same thing overlaid on top of each other, then it's symmetrical. The line that we fold over is called the axis of symmetry. So this is the line we fold over. It would be the crease of the piece of paper as you folded it in half. And if there's symmetry involved, then that is the axis of symmetry. Mirror image is just another word for the half that we're talking about. And so we say that two halves are mirror images of each other if they're identical over some axis of symmetry. A couple of other definitions. So we've got our, our graph here, our, our Cartesian plane. And as we're looking at this, then we want to talk about symmetric over these different pieces. And so suppose that we have this type of line that looks like this. It comes down and then it comes back. And I can't draw it very well, but that's basically what we're looking at right here. And notice that this is symmetric. I can fold it in half along the x-axis. This is when the axis of symmetry is the x-axis. And very specifically, it means that if I have a point x, y on the graph, I also have x minus y on the graph. So the x's stay the same, but if this is at x, y, then this is at x minus y. Or rather, if this were a point 2, let's say 3, 2, then I also have a point at 3 minus 2. That means that if that matches for every point x, y, then it'll be symmetric about the x-axis. The y-axis is similar, so let me get rid of this, but instead of being this way, it's actually set up this way. That's not quite good enough. Let me do a little bit better job. So let's suppose that folds perfectly over. And so the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. And it says if we have a point at x, y, we also have a point at minus x, y. Notice the sign changes in these to be symmetric. And so if every point x, y has a point at minus x, y, then it'll be valid. So suppose we have this point here. This is our x, y, or let's call this 2, 3. Then it means that we also have a point right here at minus 2, 3. And that's going to be true for every point. This point will match this one, this one will match this one, and so forth for every point on the line. If that's true, then it's symmetric over the y-axis. The last one is symmetric over the origin. And I'm going to give you the algebraic definition. If every point x, y also has a point at minus x minus y, then it's symmetric over the origin. Notice that means it has to pass through the origin for this to be true. So suppose that we have something like this, which means we also have something like this. And so here, if we take this line, this point and this point, we draw a line through the origin. If this is the midpoint of those lines, and this is minus x minus y, and this is x, y, then it's symmetric about the origin. In other words, I'm folding my piece of paper along either here or here, and I can get a match out of it. If every x, y has a corresponding minus x minus y point on the graph. Those are our definitions, and we're going to use them here in just a minute.